I got a call from Moshe Rosenfeld, who had heard that I was in town. Now, I didn't know Moshe as a child because he grew up in Montreal. But Zalman is a cousin. Zalman and Moshe are cousins. So I guess Zalman, you know, was involved with this project. And they decided they were putting together something that I believe was probably the first modern revolution in Yiddish theater, which uh, started off as a one-night tribute on the 75th anniversary of the Fauvilles at the Stevensville Hotel in the Catskills. And what made it a revolution was that it was not new material per se, but it was old material compiled in a modern way and performed and directed and created by a core group of young people, which at the time consisted of Moshe and myself and Eleanor Risa and Phyllis Burke and I'm trying to think if Joanne Bortz was in it then. I think she joined later. In any event, it was this little group of young people doing this old material in a very new way. And that one evening was so successful that it eventually evolved into what became the show The Golden Land. It's Golden Land. It's Golden Land. So suddenly we were, and, that, and by that point, Moshe had pulled out of the show and Bruce Adler replaced him. So suddenly I'm working with Bruce Adler. Um, you know, and, and Joanne Bortz and Neva Small and Eleanor and, you know, I mean, it just, it evolved into a much bigger thing. It, it, it ran a total of probably about four years all over the country and, and it really was in many ways a revolution. They just revived it not that long ago. Um, but it was unique and, and, you know, with all due respect to the revival that just closed, they could never have what we had. And, and that's not to take away from, from the talent of the kids who just did it. But we were the real thing. Bruce Adler came from a family of Yiddish theater, Julius Adler and Henrietta Jacobson. He grew up on the, on the lap of, you know, the greats. Um, Yablokov, Herman Yablokov. I mean, he would tell me stories about Skolnick and, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so, you know, suddenly I, I was involved in this group of young Yiddish creators. And it was very exciting to be a part of it and very unique and, and you know, again, will never happen again. I, certainly not like that. It was an extraordinary experience.